Uh oh. What's up, guys? Hey, everyone. Bring you updates, man. Something prime when it comes to the cryptocurrency market in the world right now, man. Right. What's going on, Crypto Alex, man? Not much. We're just going to give a report on what's going on today, keep people up to date. And I think today we're going to be covering one of the major altcoins, the number two, Ethereum. Got an article here that it may be doing a 100% rally in the next day or so. It's been bullish even this past uh, day or so. It's up and around the 170s. Uh, it's easily could begin moving. You got some charts here that show we could be moving up to 200, maybe up to 335. So full on doubling of Ethereum, and that'd be relative to Bitcoin. So this is the movers concept we really wanted to bring you. And it looks like Ethereum's about to be one of those movers big time. So. Keep an eye on Ethereum, and uh, you know this may be a good time to take a position in. So again, not financial advice, but we wanted to cover the movers for you, and this is a definite upcoming move in the next week, most likely. So keep a solid eye on it. And uh, the other one we're going to look to bring to you. Oh, go ahead, John. Oh no, no, yeah, yeah. I was, I was going to say, man. You know, Ethereum pretty much it takes. I know Bitcoin takes the market, but Ethereum follows the, the majority of the market. So Ethereum goes up. The majority of other altcoins go up. I mean, I, I, we, we both know that. You know what I mean? The majority of coins, That's right. those audience who don't know, is, is Ethereum-based. So I'm just putting it out there. That's going to really kill the altcoin market up a little bit, just putting it That's out right. There. We're going to start entering more and more of alt season, and uh, yes. Ethereum is going to be the leader of that pack uh, right behind Bitcoin. But this will get you a little gain relative to Bitcoin. Um, and the other one we're hoping to show you was IOTA. There's some major news with IOTA out, um, that a uh, major German software firm, Software AG, is going to be using IOTA and integrating it in. IOTA is incredibly bullish. It's a futuristic uh, mover. I think this is really one to keep an eye on. It's got a lot of use cases. It's where we're headed in the future with the Internet of Things, with machine-to-machine -machine communications. It's going to be more and more a part of our lives. Uh, this just absolutely makes sense as a part of it, and it should be a serious mover. It's around number 21 now, and it should be able to move its way up. Can I, can I say start coding IOTA? Everybody get on that platform or something. Yeah, like really. Code it. Look into oh IOTA Academy. Start, start looking to code IOTA. That's yes. That's the skill you guys are going to want. Get out, of, get out of mobile app uh, coding. It's not worth it. I'm telling you, this is where it's at. It's going to be, right? So Get into this coding, and I think it's going to be a big part of the future and could have a lot of opportunity for you. Yeah, yeah, that blockchain development, man, and getting into dApps and specifically knowing how to code this and, um, and IOTA. So uh, that, that's, that's a key job market that, I mean, if you obviously we all want to be crypto rich, but if you can be crypto rich and actually make over six figures and why not right <laughs> right and it gives you a way in if you're not if you don't have money to get in you know exactly so exactly another way and it's another part of the future especially with the economy shifting you definitely want to have things in mind this is one of them yeah i, I know Ethereum and accessibility too because you're able to do it worldwide so i i heard of a lot of people actually even coding remotely like even just, oh yeah you can do that you can become yeah. a you know a digital nomad that way over time so. gotcha and then go, i mean <laughs> Transition to the other article, man. I didn't mean to cut you yeah. off. Going to weekends. Uh, we've got one of the traders who called the top in 2017 at Bitcoin near around 20,000. It's pretty much calling bottom now. And it, it's starting to look that way. The past few weeks have been very bullish. Um, the more bullish, you know, it looks like he says if it stays above 8.2 or 8,200, which we have, and we're clearly staying above it. So generally, I think we're beginning a bull run in the very beginnings of an alt season. So this is a very exciting time to get into crypto and really want to get in before the rally gets in too much and get you in with FOMO, fear of missing out, instead of right now when you're still going to get a good opportunity. <laughs> yeah, no, I actually, I actually watched this interview. It was pretty interesting. I mean, he had a really good perspective, too, as far as how in he is in, too. He was real calm, too. You know, how, He's been in the market forever. So oh, yeah. Yeah, so he was he was calling out technical analysis. Yes, yeah. yes. So I, I watched his uh, on YouTube, and it was it's pretty good for anybody to want to watch. It it really is nice. And yeah, he's been around. He's made several calls in the past. Thank so you. really, is the less weekends, the more we're going higher. So yeah, it is. Day to day. Yeah, and he's right too. Eight point two is still bullish. Uh, I like that. I like it. And with Tezos, I just wanted to share Tezos today came out with a free faucet, free for anybody to use. 
uh, you all you have to do is <coughs> click on the Tezos faucet. It'll bring it up and put in a Tezos address. You can create one or use one from Exchange if you if you want to, and they give away free Tezos. And <coughs> you can do it once per day. It does log your IP address. So once per day, you can get not much, a penny and a half, but it's for anyone and everyone. And the faucet thing is kind of a cool way for people to understand how to use it, how to do a transaction without risking any money, and to get a little bit of free crypto while you're at it. So just wanted to share that with you guys in case you wanted to use that faucet. So one more time, again, clarify it for me real quick. I know you're the crypto master. They're giving away, one more time again, free a, All you need right? to do is put in your... Tezos wallet address, and you complete a CAPTCHA to prove that you're a human, and it, it automatically begins sending you that little bit of data. Wow. This is a, a way other coins have gotten started. A classic one was Dogecoin, or uh, about a couple of years ago, used to do this. And it was an effective way to raise awareness about, about the coin. And Tezos it's, is a pretty Stellar good. used to, I did it too, but they actually, it's yeah. a bit more trying to defraud the system. Well, they were giving away $25 <laughs> in Stellar, which was tempting amount. So, yeah. People were submitting multiple claims, and there were problems. So Stellar shut that down. Man, I say, I give it a free, you give it away free money, man. Right. <laughs> like, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. This should be like the title of the video. We, we, I give it away free money. <laughs> right, right. Uh, anything else you want to add, man? I think that's most of what we we got going now. I think we're heading more into a more of a bullish category. I think the future's really bright. I think you want to keep your eyes on it. We'll try to get another video out for you every day, keep you as up to date as we can, keep watching these movers, keep giving you some key opportunities uh, to look at and to maybe be a part of. So, Yes. All right. All right, guys. You have a great day. Enjoy your weekend and enjoy the beginning of a bull run. That's right. I'm looking forward to it. All right.